Santay. And welcome to Teleara Tutorial TV, a platform where you can be in one place, virtually to learn and enjoy mathematics even you are in different locations in reality. This is Sir John Magramagula, your grade 9 math teacher, your learning buddy to an amazing and exciting math journey. So what are we waiting for? Come on and let's get this started. At the end of this video tutorial, you are expected to first illustrate situations that you hold directly very true. Second, translate a verbatim statement or relationship involving direct relation between two quantities given a table of values, a mathematical equation, a graph, and vice versa. Let us start our discussion with these situations. Every time we made a bank deposit, we anticipate it increasing in value and earning interest. On the other hand, we anticipate money and or payments if we work or labor for a period of time. These scenarios have something to do on our today's topic, which is about direct vibrations. Direct vibration is a linear function that can be written in the form of y over x equals k, where k is the constant of vibration and k is not equal to zero. The equation can be simplified as y equals kx, and y equals kx may read as y varies directly as x, y varies as x, y is directly proportional to x, and y is proportional to x. As what I've said already, k is the constant of variation in y equals kx that relates the two quantities or variables. Let us have this thing. Our task is to compute for the value of y in y equals kx given that the following values of x are 2, 4, 6, and 8. And let us use 6 as the value of k. Let us now solve the value of y if the given value of x is 2. y equals 6, which is our constant of variation multiplied by 2, is equal to 12. It means the value of y when x is 2 is 12. Next, the value of x is 4. y equals 6 times 4 is 24. Next, the value of x is 6. y equals 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Next, x is 8. y equals 6 times 8 is 48. Now, by observing the values of x and y, we can always generate the same quotients when we will perform a division process to the value of y towards to the value of x, which is the value of variations constant. With that, we can simply come up with a formula k equals y over x that helps us to solve the constant of vibration. We can also observe in the table an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes decrease in y. And that tells us the relationship of two variables or quantities in direct violation. And now, let us determine whether the given statement is an example of direct violation or not. First one, the number of hours you work to the amount of your paycheck. Timer starts now. Time's up. If, if your answer is, this is an example of direct variation, then you got the correct answer. Because as the R's work increases, so does your paycheck also, and vice versa. Second, the total kilogram of sugar to the amount of its total cost. Timer starts now. Time's up. If your answer is, this is an example of direct variation, then you got the correct answer. Because when we observe that as weight of sugar increases, cost also increases in such a manner that their ratio remains constant. And if the weight of sugar decreases, cost also decreases. And for number three, 
the speed of a car with the time travel to a specific location. Timer starts now. Time's up. If your answer is, this is not an example of a direct vibration, then you got the correct answer. Because speed is inversely proportional to the time taken when distance travel is constant. So when speed increases, time decreases and vice versa. Moving on, let us translate each statement into an equation. Use K for the constant of variation. Number 1, L is directly proportional to N. When we translate it into an equation, it will become L equals KN. The variable that we put in the left side of the equation is the one that will be read first. Number 2, R varies directly to C. It can be translated to R equals KC. Number 3, Ladin's grades in her math subject is proportional to the effort that she exerts in studying her lessons. It can be translated to G equals KE. And lastly, Colleen's savings depends on the money that she deposits in her piggy bank. And it can be translated to S equals KD. That is how statements are converted into equations. Next, we will tackle on how to determine if the given table of values expresses a direct variation or not. Here are the things that we need to remember in order to determine that the given table of values expresses a direct variation. First, we must check the relationship of two variables. An increase in x causes an increase in y, and a decrease in x causes decrease in y. Second, we must ensure that the ratios of y and x are always equal, or what we call constant of variation. Using this table, we can observe that the value of x increases, the value of y also increases. Now, let us examine if the constant of variation or the ratios of y and x are the same. So the formula that we will help us in checking the ratios is k equals y over x. So we will have 6 over 3, 10 over 5, 14 over 7, and 18 over 9. And if we will express the following fractions into a simplest form, the answer is 2. Therefore, the constant of variation is 2 since the quotients are same. We can simply say that the given table of value is an example of direct variation. Now, we will proceed on how to determine the equation of a variation using a table of values. Since we already solved the constant of variation, which is 2 using the formula of k equals y over x. Then, we will use the value of variation constant to determine the equation of variation. All we need to do is to plug the solved value of k in y equals kx. Therefore, the equation of variation is y equals 2x. Is this video tutorial helpful to you? Let me know in the comment section. Before you leave this video, kindly click the like, share, and subscribe button below. Keep safe and well always everyone. God bless. Bye!